Hi everybody, this is Anarina Kreisman and it is a privilege for me to share with everybody at Genesis 123 Foundation, those supporting Israel. Thank you so much for what you are doing. Jonathan Salzin, a very good friend of mine. Um, and I just want to say, guys, this is the time that you have to keep on supporting. If you are connected through any Christian organization to a Jewish organization, keep on supporting. We know that in Psalms 20, it says, May God bless you from Zion, from Zion, as he remembers these times and your offerings. Uh, when the time comes, and, and we all, I believe, in, in the future, will need some special protection. That's why we have this amazing time of Sukkot. In this time we have to be tremendously happy because it's in that happiness, sitting in a flimsy sukkah, hearing all the noises around you, knowing, but this is how God says, as you sit in the sukkah, this is how you know that the structures around you might feel flimsy and the wind blows everything, but your true protection comes from me. And that's why I just also want to share with you a little bit on Sukkot as well. Now, I'm sure that there are many messages about the joy of Sukkot, uh, what Sukkot is all about, the Sukkah and everything. So I want to share with you a story from the ancient biblical Jerusalem, the city of David, and how the Shiluach pool was found. Now, why is this so important uh, for Sukkot? One of the most important things that happened during Sukkot was the water libation. You've heard the verse, you will draw water with joy from the springs of salvation. Why the springs of salvation? Because the Gihon spring that feeds the Shiluach pool where all the men went for the mikveh, for the ritual purification for Sukkot and all the other festivals, was in the city of David in Jerusalem and that was fed by the Gihon spring. The Gihon spring is the, is the uh, represents the springs of salvation because all the kings of Israel, uh, especially the story of uh, Shlomo or Solomon you can read in the Bible, were anointed at the spring. If a king was not anointed there, you should question um, his kingship because most of the kings anointed in Jerusalem at that spring. That being said, that's why it's called the springs of salvation and therefore when we get to uh, to the time when you have to draw water with joy, that is the festival of Sukkot. But here is the story. We know that only slowly and surely, but surely we are now finding all these places, all these key places in the ancient biblical Jerusalem through archaeology. So how did they find the Shiluach? Well, Shiluach um, is the word that means sent because the water is being sent from the Gihon spring all the way to the pool. Now the archaeologists have been looking for this since we have established uh, 150 years ago where the ancient biblical Jerusalem is after the rediscovery by Charles Warren everybody was looking for the pool because they know it had to be at the south point of the city. It's been a long conquest to try to find this and you know what was the gift and the opportunity that God sent for them to find this? He allowed a sewage pipe to burst. And they had to start cleaning up. They had to make sure that everything is thoroughly cleaned up. So they had to go quite deep um, into the ground to clean up the mess. And as they were going through this, an archaeologist, Eli Shukrun, that was busy somewhere else, just around the corner, came and looked what was going on during the, that time. And one day you heard that there was a sound not going uh, with, with the um, machinery going through the dirt, but he heard iron on stone. And he said, whoa, 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 that's a different sound that I'm hearing right now. Let's open up. And that's where they found one stone and they kept on uh, opening it up. And that's where they said, okay, now we have found the pool of Shiluach. So what is the essence of the lesson uh, right now? Uh, it is this. Sometimes, and we see this in this whole COVID situation where it feels like chaos is breaking. Um, it, 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 it's just all around you. So in that time, Sometimes God sends a sewage pipe to burst for you to start cleaning up your life, your soul journey. And as you do that, you get to the real stuff, to that which really is necessary for you to move forward. Because the Shiluach pool, you could not get to your worship to God in the temple if you did not 
first go through your ritual immersion. And listen, um, there, there could have been a thousand ways that they could find the Shiluach ball. But the irony lies in this, that it was a sewage pipe, the most dirtiest thing that, that just put such impurity all over the place was the very thing for you to discover the place where you can reach that spiritual purity and that, uh, and that process and that preparation for you to then ultimately get to a higher form of worship. So that's the Sukkah message for you guys and I want to wish you a Chak Sukkot Sameach all the way here from Jerusalem. Shalom, Shalom.